This is Earth, the planet in which we call home. However, due to increasingly harmful effects of climate change that we started, often known as global warming, our planet is not on a positive path to continue supporting life. We started it, so it's our duty to end it. And I, Vishesh Kodi Svaran, the governor of California, and here to share with you my plans for putting an end to this catastrophe. So what exactly is it? Climate change is described as a long-term shift in the planet's average temperatures with significant and long-lasting effects. Rather than natural processes, it's our actions on Earth that have led to this. The gases that make up Earth's atmosphere include oxygen, nitrogen, and other substances known as greenhouse gases. These greenhouse gases are primarily made up of carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, and methane. When sunlight strikes the Earth's surface, some of the energy is absorbed by the planet, heating the surface. But greenhouse gases, on the other hand, such as carbon dioxide, trap the remainder of energy and send it directly back to the Earth's surface, heating it even more. This is called the greenhouse effect. Now don't get me wrong, a little bit of this is natural and is actually good for the Earth, but a large greenhouse effect could be catastrophic. California is supposed to overtake Germany as the world's fourth largest economy, continuing to outperform the nation and other countries in GDP growth, companies' market value, renewable energy, and more. Now that you know what climate change really is, in a nutshell, here are my plans for addressing it. The short-term plan. Burning fossil fuels, that's the name of something that's backstabbing the earth and contributing to climate change. Our climate has a natural climate cycle in which carbon dioxide is absorbed and released into the atmosphere over the course of thousands of years. However, once the industrial revolution got going, burning fossil fuels became essential for manufacturing and production facilities, and the CO2 level skyrocketed like never before. This is mostly because major oil and gas companies have spent hundreds of millions of dollars trying to delay or stop government policies that would have helped tackle the climate crisis. And that's where a renewable source of energy comes in. California has a perfect climate for more solar and wind renewable energy. Moreover, it's the richest state in the US, and hence we have money to make the investment to help our planet. While we're at it, why don't we do something else to stop these fuels? Completely switch to electric powered cars. I know, I know, you see Teslas all around the road. But in reality, the progress of the state's electric market is now nearly 18% of all new cars sold. Of course, that sounds impressive. But when you compare it to a market like Norway, which is already at over 80%, it's absolutely nothing. Moving on, it's my next plan to reduce this harmful catastrophic problem. I will help to promote and spread the word to reuse, reduce, and recycle. Why? Because atmosphere, solids, waste fills, landfills are some of the largest pollutants of methane gas in the United States. The average person produces 1,569 pounds per year of trash dumped into landfills. I will help provide recycling and compost bins to communities all throughout California to help prevent or at least significantly lower these numbers. The Midterm Plan One of the biggest problems that will take multiple years to correct is farming. Yeah, you heard me right. My plan is to improve farming and encourage vegan diets. Why does that matter? Methane is 23 trapping heat than CO2, and around 80% of which these emissions in the U.S. come from animal waste, which is produced in vast numbers by livestock farms. There's eight times more animals raised for food than the human population, and produces eight times as much waste that adds emissions to the atmosphere. Deforestation not only emits greenhouse gases, but also destroys plants and trees. What does that have to do with climate change? That comes to my second plan. These trees and plants that are on Earth can actually absorb CO2, or also known as carbon dioxide, as it needs it to live. Cutting down forest on an industrial scale destroys giant trees, which could be sucking up huge amounts of carbon. And now you probably know where I'm going with this. Plant more trees. Tax rates are increasingly high for California, especially. 
As a governor, I will try my best to propose better laws against companies that destroy forests for their own needs, and instead promote organizations like Team Trees to help plant them using the funds from taxes, and etc. The long-term plan. The process of extracting, refining, and turning oil into plastic is surprisingly carbon intense. It doesn't break down quickly in nature, so a lot of plastic is burned, which contributes to emissions. Demand for plastic is rising so quickly that creating and disposing of plastics is growing rapidly. I'm gonna help reduce plastic consumption. And there's a few ways we could do this. Number one, use non-plastic products for the package. Number two, buy more bulk food and fewer packaged products, like in Costco Wholesale. And the list goes on and on and on. I will also speak to many companies and make it worldwide so that everyone knows what's going on and how they can help prevent it. Earlier, I mentioned that I was going to help fund organizations that plant trees, as it's one of Earth's only natural carbon dioxide consumers. But is there anything else on Earth that can naturally help to end climate change? That's right, the ocean. Oceans can absorb large amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, which helps to keep our climate stable. But many are overfished, used for oil and gas drilling, or threatened by deep sea mining. Protecting oceans and the life in them is ultimately a way to protect ourselves from climate change. Although this could be a huge project, with the help of other organizations dedicated to saving bodies of water, like Team Seas, nothing is impossible. As governor, I promise to turn California into a state that helps to reduce climate change, rather than contributing to it. We started it, but we can also be the answer to ending it.